April 1988, the American frigate Samuel B. Roberts struck a mine in the Gulf. Because of the structural damage to her hull, making her own way home was impossible, and a wet tow also presented too great a risk. The American Military Sealift Command thus contracted the Dutch company Weissmuller Transport BV to carry the Samuel Roberts back to the United States of America on board one of the company's special semi-submersible heavy lift vessels. Before the stricken frigate could be loaded on board Weissmuller's Mighty Servant II, the deck of the heavy lift transporter had to be carefully prepared. At the harbor of Dubai, dunnage had to be welded on deck to support the keel of the Samuel B. Roberts, a very accurate job because of the frigate's complex hull shape. To calculate loading plans, Weissmuller Transport itself developed a unique set of dedicated computer programs. These provide a sound body of information for the planning and optimal carry of any specific transport assignment. Holes have to be cut in the deck of the Mighty Servant to accommodate the frigate's protruding sonar dome and stabilization fins. Day and night, 24 hours a day, the work continues. The preparation of the deck takes six days and is carefully controlled by Weissmuller experts. Steel guide posts are welded into position, ready to line up the cargo during loading. All in all, a very thirsty job. A temporary bulkhead is installed to maintain the carrier vessel's stiffness and to keep the hole for the sonar dome watertight. Several hundred meters of welding rod is necessary to fasten the dunnage on the deck of the heavy lift vessel. All arrangements are carefully controlled not only by Weissmuller, but also by American naval experts and an independent surveyor. Pipes are installed to supply the frigate with cooling water. During the voyage, the mighty servant supplies her cargo with water and electricity to keep the advanced equipment of the Samuel B. Roberts operational. It also makes it possible for a 30-man crew to remain on board the frigate during the voyage. Weissmuller's loading plan is regularly consulted to check if the dunnage accords to the complex demands made on this particular transport assignment. Every detail is inspected thoroughly. To make room for the frigate's protruding propeller shaft and rudder, two hatches of the hold have to be removed. The preparations for the loading operation are finished, and the commanding officer of the Samuel B. Roberts, Captain Towns, makes his round on deck of the mighty servant to see how everything has been prepared. Judging from uh, my walk through the uh, deck of the Mighty Servant 2, uh, they have things well in hand. They are removing excess equipment at this time. And uh, very shortly, within approximately an hour and a half, they will be underway 
uh, proceeding to a position uh, ready to load the uh, Samuel B. Roberts. When the last equipment has been lifted off the deck, and the moorings cast off, the mighty servant sets course to the actual loading location a few miles out from the coast of Dubai. At the loading location, anchors are dropped. When the position of the ship is secured, the ballasting operations begin. The pumps are started to fill the ballast tanks with water. Slowly, the heavy lift vessel submerges, ready to receive her cargo. The Samuel B. Roberts is loaded by the float-on method, which requires the deck of the heavy lift vessel to be submerged several meters underwater. To load this frigate, the deck has to be submerged nine meters. The cargo is then towed over the submerged deck. The mighty servant and its cargo will be lifted by de-ballasting the filled tanks. And not only is the U.S. Navy interested in this trip, with the ballasting operation complete, only the marks of the guideposts can be seen. The Samuel B. Roberts can now be towed over the deck of the Mighty Servant 2. Two tugs are required to do this job safely. Fenders have been placed alongside the casings, astern of the lift vessel for additional safety. Very carefully, the Samuel B. Roberts is towed between them. On the bridge of the Mighty Servant 2, the captain closely watches the loading operation. positioned above the deck, the tugs cast off, and the last towing connection is made with one of the six winches on board the Mighty Servant. A helicopter buzzes around to film this unique event. The mighty servant's winches now position the frigate exactly above the dunnage on deck.
the deballasting operation can now start. During the operation, divers inspect whether the frigate fits perfectly on the structure prepared for her. With tolerances of only a few centimeters, especially the vulnerable protruding parts, the sonar dome and stabilization fins, have to be positioned exactly in the holes made in the deck of the Mighty Servant. Sunset, but the deballasting operation continues. Slowly, the frigate rises out of the water. By midnight, deballasting is complete. The mighty servant returns to Dubai with its cargo. Here, high-strength sea fastenings will be attached to secure the keel of the frigate. Samuel B. Roberts, maintenance goes on, more or less as if nothing exceptional has happened. The frigate now stands high and dry to the satisfaction of the U.S. Navy, the surveyor, and of course, Weissmuller. Yes, I'm uh, very satisfied. Yesterday morning, uh, early in the morning at about one o'clock, we started submerging with the mighty Serpent too. At about uh, one o'clock in the afternoon, the U.S. Samuel B. Roberts was positioned over our deck. We started deballasting and uh, around 10 o'clock we had the deck dry and uh, the Samuel B. Roberts uh, lifted on board our ship. I heard you made some special preparations on board on deck the Mighty Servant, is that correct? That's correct. Although every transport is uh, different, uh, this transport has um, uh, some uh, special uh, things we had to prepare. Uh, we had to cut, so, cut some uh, quite big holes in our uh, deck to accommodate the sonar dome and the stabilizer fins. And uh, further uh, aft to the Samuel B. Roberts, we also had to accommodate the propeller shaft and the rudder. Welding equipment is again lifted on board the Mighty Servant 2, this time to weld sea fastenings on the deck. The man who supervises the loading and later also the unloading operation is Weissmuller's superintendent, Captain Fritz Barendrecht. He is asked about the role of the sea fastenings. Well, sea fastenings are placed in order to keep the cargo uh, in its position on the deck, because due to the uh, ship motions, uh, the, the, car, the cargo has got a tendency to move off the ship. So in both directions, in uh, longitudinal and transverse direction, we place those steel shocks against them and we weld them. And to keep the cargo in place. At what uh, wind force are they uh, protecting the cargo? Well, uh, we, we calculate the wind force, and from the wind force we calculate a certain acceleration force. And for that force we are welding the sea fasteners. In this case it was 85 knots, which is a hell of a lot of wind. So you are absolutely sure the cargo is uh, safely secured aboard the uh, Mighty Servant 2? Oh yes, it is. I'm sure. After having checked and rechecked, the superintendent gives clearance to leave for the United States of America. When passing the Strait of Hormuz, the transport is accompanied by various naval escorts.
Plenty of interest is shown in the Mighty Servant 2 and her special cargo on the way. Here, an Omani naval vessel sizes up the situation. to the United States covers 7,800 nautical miles. It takes the transport through the Red Sea, the Suez Canal, the Mediterranean, and across the Atlantic. The Samuel B. Roberts towers high above the sandy banks of the Suez Canal. Thirty days after leaving the Gulf, the wounded frigate Samuel B. Roberts arrives at her home base at Newport, Rhode Island. U.S. naval experts immediately inspect the condition of the vessel, while preparations are made for the unloading operation. The sea fastenings are cut loose and the cooling water hoses disconnected. However, not everybody can keep his attention on the frigate. On the bridge of the Mighty Servant 2, the ballasting operation is started. Slowly, the Samuel B. Roberts is lowered into the water. Two tugs are on standby to gently tow the frigate off the deck of the heavy lift vessel. The mighty servant is submerged and the connections with the winches cast off while a diver has investigated the situation below the frigate. With everything checked and verified, the superintendent gives the order to tow the frigate off her carrier. welcomes back the Samuel B. Roberts. For Weissmuller transport, the job has now been completed and Superintendent Fritz Barendrecht takes leave of one of his more exceptional cargoes. At the naval base, a homecoming party is organized for the frigate, her officers and crew. Crew members receive a warm welcome from their waiting families. Last to leave the ship 
is obviously the commanding officer, Captain Towns. Now, the empty, mighty servant too has fled the crowd. The ship and crew will not be getting much rest, however. A new cargo is waiting for them. But before that can be loaded, the deck has to be restored to its original condition. Mighty Servant 2, one of Weissmuller's big carriers. <laughs> 